welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats. And this is a recipe I've wanted to make for a long time. It's Kirby's spicy curry. And oh, I just have so many memories playing Kirby. And then also Super Smash Brawl, where like, oh, Kirby was my absolute one and only. If I had to play anyone else, I would cry. I love him so much, so much so my friend painted me a cute little painting of me as Kirby. So we're going to honor Kirby with his spicy curry. These are the ingredients. This curry will serve between four to six people. 650 grams of stewing meat. I'm also using chuck steak here. You want a bit of a fattier cut of meat. Five cups of beef stock. Two large or three carrots peeled and chopped. Two large or three small cloves of garlic crushed. Four tablespoons of butter, that's about 65 grams. Seven tablespoons of plain flour, that's about a third of a cup and then a tablespoon on top. Three medium size or two large onions, uh, roughly chopped. Three medium or two large potatoes peeled and cut. One pink lady apple that has been peeled and grated. It's just gone brown because I did that about 10 minutes ago and it's oxidized a bit, don't worry. One and a half tablespoons of fresh ginger grated. If you want to have a basic spice curry that <laughs> basic white bishes like me can handle, then you're gonna wanna have two tablespoons curry powder, two tablespoons garam masala. And then this one's optional, but of course we're making Kirby spicy curry, so we are adding our chili. So depending on how spicy you want it, I would add one teaspoon uh, for a bit of kick to it and two teaspoons if you want a really spicy curry. This one's up to you. You can always add it a bit later. Then for our rice, you're going to need two cups of uncooked sushi rice. This is short grain rice. And I've rinsed it so that the water runs clear. One third cup rice wine vinegar. One tablespoon caster sugar. One teaspoon salt. Two and a half cups of water. So for the decoration, I want to make Kirby on top spitting fire. So that's what we're gonna do with our rice. And we're gonna color our rice with raspberries, some egg yolks, and you can also use food coloring if you don't want to use these because they give a much more vibrant color. We're gonna use tomatoes, trees, some nori seaweed, and some kupi mayonnaise. So let's get started and appease the Kirby gods. Yes, I know this is not a Kirby top, but it's the only pink one I have at the moment. But you know what? I think this curry will be good enough for Kirby regardless of the Pokemon top. So what we're gonna do first is brown our onions in one to two tablespoons of olive oil until they're nice and browned. And then once those are browned, we're going to put our beef stock, carrots and potatoes in a large pot while we brown our beef. So while our onions are cooking, this might take between five to seven minutes. We're going to heat our butter in a small saucepan and then add our flour and let that cook for about five or so minutes until it goes slightly brown. While the onions and the butter and flour are cooking, we're going to put our beef stock, potatoes, carrot, apple, ginger and garlic into our large saucepan and put it on a low heat so it slowly starts to heat through. We don't want to bring it to a boil just yet. Now, when your onions are about this color, you want to add them to your pot with all of your vegetables in it. Bring the pot to a boil, then bring it down to a medium low heat to simmer while we brown the beef in the same pot as the onions. So as you can see, this is starting to get a little bit of color. We want this one to go slightly brown. So we're gonna cook it for another three to four minutes. You'll see the difference in color. You want it to kind of look like a dark brown fox color. Once your meat is browned on all sides, add it to your pot that's been simmering. And then we're gonna let it continue to simmer until our flour and butter mixture is nice and brown. Now, when your butter and flour mixture is this beautiful brown color, you're going to add your garam masala and curry powder until it's aromatic. It is absolutely delicious. You only need to stir it for about a minute. Once you've been stirring your spices into the mixture, we're going to add a ladle of our beef stock into here and stir around. 
just to thin it before we add to our curry, because if you add this to the curry now, it'll make lumps, which is not what you want. It will steam up, so be careful. Now, as you can see with this, it's starting to become a bit more of a dough. Probably add another one or two ladles to this until it's a bit more like a slurry. We're going to place our pre-washed sushi rice into a medium to large size pot. Add our water. So that again, that's two cups of rice to two and a half cups of water. You can make this in a rice cooker if you have one. And we're going to slowly bring it to the boil. As soon as it boils, we're gonna put it down on a low heat, put the lid on and let it cook for about eight to 10 minutes. While your rice is boiling, you might wanna give it a stir just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan but when it starts to simmer, then don't touch it after that. Now, I know making this part of the curry, what's called the curry roux, takes a little bit of extra time, but just look at this beautiful color, it's amazing. Of course, you can buy the blocks that you can get in any Asian supermarket, but then you don't know what's in it. So this way, all you know is there's garam masala, curry powder, flour, and butter. I love making it myself because it really doesn't take that much longer and it gives a beautiful flavor. And by toasting the flour and the butter, oh, my life. So this is about the consistency we want it. It's a bit more liquidy than when it's crumbly and dry, so it'll incorporate beautifully into the curry. So we're just going to add it and stir it around and then let it simmer for about half an hour to an hour, and then we're gonna serve. Our curry has been simmering for about half an hour now. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 more minutes. While that's doing, our rice is just finished. So we're going to season it and color it at this point. Of course, you can serve this just with the rice, but why not put Kirby on something if you can put Kirby on something? Make it like a thousand times better. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're going to take our rice wine vinegar, add our sugar and salt and mix it together. This is also how you would season sushi rice uh, for sushi. Um, but I like doing this just because it gives the rice a bit more flavor with the curry. Of course, you can serve the rice just as it is. So we're going to pour that into our rice and then we're going to mix it around and fluff up the rice with a fork. Now, I'm only gonna be making one curry that has Kirby on it just for decoration purposes, because there is only one Kirby. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is take enough to make a decent size round Kirby, and then we're gonna color that one pink with our raspberry. So I'm probably gonna take about a cup of rice, a heaped cup of rice for Kirby. Then we're going to put our raspberry on top. Now, of course, you can also use red food coloring for this. This also gives it a very nice, fruity, refreshing taste and it's gonna look so, it actually smells really nice. Because I just find that I'm trying to use a little bit less food coloring, especially if I'm doing a home cooked meal and if you're making this for kids, you don't really wanna to put too much artificial colors and flavors and stuff. So this is a healthier alternative. So the yellow is going to make the flame that uh, Kirby's breathing out. So I want it to be nice and vibrant. So I'm using three egg yolks to three quarter cup of rice. And then we're gonna put some like chopped up bits of tomato for the red bits of the flame. Now I'm gonna to try to make a practice Kirby on some baking paper and then we'll transfer it on top of the curry after. So we're gonna get our pink rice and make a beautiful little circle. Thank you. 
Okay guys, that's how you make my Kirby spicy curry. Sorry if you can hear vacuuming in the background, my dad did not want to stop. Dad. Anyway, it smells amazing. He's so cute. I didn't really know how to make Kirby out of rice and I did it and I'm really actually quite proud. It looks really cute. All natural colors in this. It's not artificially colored, so it's a really cool idea for dinner. I hope you try it and let's eat. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. The thing is that I'm not very good with spice. <laughs> you, yeah. The thing is we went with <laughs> one teaspoon of chili, like, so it's, like it is, no, I think, no we did the two in the end. Mm. So it's a spicy one, so. Spicy boy. Okay, I'm I wanna get a carrot. I wanna get a carrot. Too. Okay, I don't really wanna eat Kirby. He looks so beautiful. But we will. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Sneaks up on you. That's nice. That's a good level of spice. I enjoy that. <laughs> you gay there. <laughs> I need it, milk. It is, it is quite spicy. Okay, you know what, it's so skin. But you know like when you have something hot and like you have more than one like yeah, bite yeah. of it and yeah. then it like adds and it's like Ugh! Yeah, It's like tingling my tongue and I'm like Ooh. Like not gonna lie, I'm a good lemon and herb fan of Nando, so I'm a bit of a white, basic white bitch. <laughs> so Flavie can do a bit more spice than me. Just a little but, bit. Oh, but you know like in um, Super Smash when like Kirby like inhales his enemy and gains like, his skin. Oh. So we have to eat Kirby Let's to... Let's just... We have to eat him there. to get his superpowers. More rice than curry, it's hot. Mmm, Kirby's delicious. You can taste just mm, the slightest bit of raspberry, it's really fresh. Mmm, and the nice like vinegar mm. in the rice too. But it's not overpowering, mm, but it really not. goes well with the curry. Yum. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks, thanks for, watching for watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.